Hello, in this video, we're going to check our answer to the equation 5 over 2x minus 3 equals 3 over x plus 5. If you recall, our solution to this equation, or our answer for x, was x equals 34. What we're going to do in this video is see whether or not this truly is, in fact, the solution to the equation. So to this end, what we'll do is we'll take 34 and plug it back into the original equation, and then see if we get a statement of equality. So let's go ahead and plug 34 into anywhere we see x. On the left hand side it's going to be 5 over 2, and I'll use parentheses, so 2 times 34 minus 3. And we're going to see whether or not that gives us the same value as if we were to do instead 3 over 34 plus 5. So just as a quick side note, um, you are welcome to use parentheses here if you want. They aren't really necessary though, but over here they definitely are necessary. If you don't have the parentheses symbols here, you might mistakenly call this 234. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead and simplify both these fractions. I'll start with the left one first. Alright, so 5 on top, and the simplification for this fraction is, is going to all be in the denominator, much like as we're going to see um, in, in just a moment, the uh, fraction on the right hand side. Anyway, uh, according to the order of operations, what we'll have to do is multiply 2 and 34 together. So 2 times 34 is 68. Still have to subtract 3. On the right hand side, quicker calculation, 34 plus 5. And that's going to give us 39. Now again, going back to the fraction that's on the left hand side, we're going to have 5 over 68 minus 3 that works out to be 65. And on the right hand side, 3 over 39. So visually, these two fractions don't appear to equal each other. But you want to note that they actually do reduce to a fraction, in which case, the same fraction. So for example, 5 over 65, both these numbers are divisible by 5, right? And when you divide 5 by itself, you get 1. And when you divide 65 by 5, you get 13. Now the fraction on the right, we have 3 over 39. Now both these numbers are divisible by 3. When you divide 3 by 3, you get 1, of course. And what do you get when you divide 39 by 3? You get 13. So we do wind up getting a number equal to itself after we reduce these fractions. And that verifies that x equals 34 is in fact the solution to the equation. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.